Hello all. So if you have a Toyota 2.4 liter engine and you need to know what a sensor location is, the firing order, or the cylinder locations, I thought I'd real quickly go over this and show what this information is. But I'm going to show the following sensor locations that are listed right here. The Toyota 2.4 liter was used in several different vehicles from 2002 to 2011. And to make this all easier to understand, I made up some diagrams. If you need any of these diagrams, I'll put a link in the description box below where you could go and get them. The firing order is just one, three, four, two. And the cylinder numbers starting on the passenger side is going to be one, two, three, four. Next up is the knock sensor location. And the knock sensor is going to be located up behind the intake manifold. Here's what it looks like if you take the intake manifold off and you look down in there. It's going to be up against the firewall, so it is kind of difficult to get down in there. But the knock sensor is going to be located up behind the intake manifold. Next up is the variable valve timing solenoid, also called the oil control valve, and it's going to be located down in here. If you look down in there, there's going to be a solenoid, and this is how it's located back there, and it's just going to be located right here. Next up is the mass airflow sensor or MAF sensor, and it's just located right on the air intake box. If you just look on the air intake box, you'll be able to see it. The next sensor is going to be the cam sensor. It's going to be located down inside of here. If you look down in there, there's going to be a plug, and that's going to be the cam sensor. There's only one, and it's on the intake cam side. The next sensor is going to be the crankshaft position sensor. It's going to be located down in here towards the bottom of the engine. The easiest way to get to this sensor is to take off the front passenger side tire. There's going to be a cover right there. And if you look on the side of the crank, right above the oil filter, it's going to be located right there. Next up is the engine coolant temperature sensor and the oil pressure sensor. I forgot to mark them on this diagram, but if you look right here, this is going to be the oil pressure sensor. And on the other side is going to be the engine coolant temperature sensor. So if you locate the thermostat housing, right above that is going to be the engine oil pressure sensor. And right off to the side of it is going to be the engine coolant temperature sensor. Next up is going to be the oxygen sensors or the O2 sensors. If you look straight down, this is going to be sensor one oxygen sensor. It's located before the catalytic converter. It's also called the upstream O2 sensor. And located down on the exhaust underneath the vehicle after the catalytic converter is going to be the sensor two oxygen sensor. And this one's also called the downstream O2 sensor. And one thing to mention is that the manifold absolute pressure sensor is that depending on the year of the Toyota 2.4 liter, it may or may not have one. If it doesn't have one, the computer is going to be using the mass airflow sensor and other sensors to do the calculations that it needs. And if you do think you have one, it's usually located on the intake manifold. But I don't want to give anybody bad information. So if you do get an error code for a bad manifold absolute pressure sensor, then it's going to be a good idea to find a manual for that year of Toyota. That way you know for sure what's going on. But that's basically it. If this video helps you, please click like.